Okay. All right, so now in order to treat the neck or to strengthen and stretch the neck, we're gonna talk about actually that forehead head posture. And we're going to what's called neck retraction. So neck retraction is when you take your neck and you push your chin back in your head. So a lot of people they'll do like this or they'll do like this, but the idea is you want to put your finger on your chin and you want to push your chin back towards the back of your head. So that's called neck retraction. Now, once you've got that, you can do that like 10 times and think about that. That's kind of how your neck should sit. So when you're at the computer or when you're thinking about anything you're doing, just kind of keep that chin tucked. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add rotation. So she's going to, yeah, Jenna's gonna keep her chin tucked and she's going to actually rotate, keeping that chin tucked as far as she can go. And then she's gonna rotate the other way. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get her lying on the bed with her head this way. And you can, you can get a book. I'm gonna put your leg straight. You can get a book and uh, we're gonna put it right under her neck and her head okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to get her to tuck her chin in so we're going to retract and then the idea is is we don't want these neck muscles to use so from neck muscles are quite engaged here so you're going to ask her to keep her chin tucked but push the top of her head the back of her head into and then these relax a little more so basically the chin is tucked but you're pushing the back of your top of your head into the book and these muscles are going to relax. All right, so we're going to talk about strength now. And so um, what we're going to do here is we're going to, when these muscles are tight, the muscles back here are weak. And so we want to strengthen the muscles back here. So we've already stretched the muscles here. So the idea is, is this is kind of the beginner move. Your shoulders are going to be, um, uh, your hands are going to be shoulder height and their arms are going to be straight. And so if you recall the neck, track uh, neck retraction so go ahead and retract so that's kind of the movement and then what jenna's going to do is she's going to push her uh, back of her chin and her uh, back of her neck into the band and she's going to do 10 of those now if we want to advance it so if we want to make it a little harder she's going to put it around her head and then we're going to do the same thing except now she's going to basically push back. So what we don't want to do is take your chin up. So we don't want to do that and then take it down. We don't want to do that. So it's like basically the chin is retracting straight back, chin tucked, and you're gonna do 10 of those, three sets of 10 of those. And then the last one, we're gonna attach the band at um, waist height. Is that your waist height? A little bit higher. Okay, and so with this one, we're gonna strengthen the muscles in the back, the rhomboids, her posture muscles. So we're gonna bring her shoulders down and back, which you learned in the scapula video. If you haven't watched the scapula video, watch it to learn about scapula control. And then she's going to keep the elbows at her side and she's going to squeeze between the shoulder blades. And every time that she comes back, she's going to actually leave these scapulas down and back. And she's just gonna squeeze three sets of 10 of those. So this is for posture, those two are for like posture or muscles.